today we're going to be checking out the more tone capture. This pedal is a pedal that they came out with that has seven presets. It's an EQ pedal that can be buffered or true bypass. You can select and it captures different guitar pickups. This is a similar concept to mimicking uh, amplifiers or speakers. And how it does this is very simple. So what I'm going to do is capture a few guitars, show you the process, and then let you be the judge of how it sounds. Now for this recording, to keep it as pretty consistent as possible, I'm using a Zoom H5. I'm not going to be editing the uh, file in post. I'm going to be just uploading the file SD card the way it sits. This is just what the unit uh, captured off the Princeton amplifier. And let's go through. I'm going to be using only the clean channel because again, we're trying to hear the pickups and sometimes distortion can really mess it up. The only thing that's worth noting is if you capture a humbucker pickup and put it on a single coil guitar, regardless of whether it sounds like single coils or not, if the guitar is single coil and it has a buzz, a 60 cycle hum, it hums. So let's go ahead and capture this Parker. We're going to capture the acoustic sound in this. And we're going to do it really simply. You just go ahead and turn on the pedal select the preset, which we're going to do number one, push down the button so it flashes and just start playing. They ask you in the manual to play just as much as you can. You can play scales or chords. It doesn't matter. And it says it's captured the guitar perfectly. So let's go ahead and now take the source guitar. And what they mean is for this unit to work, you have to capture the guitar you're going to be using. For this situation, I'm going to pretend that I'm using this PRS S2 semi hollow with flat wound strings as my gigging guitar. And I want an acoustic sound during the set. So I've captured my Parker, which I like their acoustic sound. And what we'll do is push the button one more time. The light will go blue so it knows we're ready to capture this guitar. Go ahead and push the plunger down. Okay, it has it. Now I'll go ahead and push the button down to set the preset. There it is. Hold it down and it is programmed. So what we should have now is the original guitar. And the captured guitar. And of course it's overloading. You can hear it's really distorted. You have controls on this. This is an EQ pedal, which is important to remember. It has a three band EQ plus a mid shift control. I'm gonna turn the volume down. One thing to remember is that when you turn the knobs, they're not actually where they say they are, they're where they were are presetted to be. So in other words, when you turn them, what feels dramatic is because if it says it's at three, it might be actually be at seven. So as soon as you move it, it jumps to seven and vice versa. Once you've set it, I'm going to give it a little bit more high frequencies. Reduce the volume just a little bit and then go ahead and save that by holding down the button. It's saved and same thing. Here's the source guitar. This is the actual PRS you're playing. And this the capture guitar. And I think if you keep messing with the EQ controls, so again, let's try the original guitar. And the capture guitar. So one of the things that I don't particularly find interesting to me is I don't know why I would capture a Strat sound and then put it on this guitar. Most of the time you're going to have a coil split. If I wanted this guitar to sound like a Strat, I would just go ahead and hit the coil split. So I'm going to do backwards. I'm going to do something that I can't do with a uh, technology in the guitar. I'm going to go ahead and record this guitar. Let's go ahead to preset number two and hold that down. Okay, we're ready to capture this guitar. I'm going to capture the neck pickup. All tone controls forward. Here's the guitar. Okay, 
Now we'll switch to the blue light and it's time to put this guitar's tone into another guitar. So now what we'll do is capture this guitar sound. This is the original guitar. This is the captured PRS S2. Everything this pedal does, I can do with either an EQ pedal or with the controls on my guitar. If I want a humbucker that sounds like a single coil, I'll coil split it. If I want a single coil that sounds a little fuller than this, I can just use the, e the tone knob versus this did the same thing if you think you might have a need for a pedal on your pedal board that mimics different styles of guitars and that's the important part of this you can't copy where this is much different than let's say an impulse response speaker where you can hear the difference between a celestian and let's say a, a, a jensen this i can't hear the difference between let's say a lipstick pickup and a regular single coil or a 50s single coil or a 60s or a high output single coil i couldn't even hear the difference between a low output humbucker and a high output humbucker it just mimics the most obvious characteristic of the of the sound in other words if it's muffly it's muffly if it's bright it's bright it just mimics the basics this is a very basic uh, pedal into the market keep in mind this is the first of its kind in this concept and so you would imagine it, you can't you can't ask for everything especially at the price point that Moore's provided the reason I just say it like that is because I want you to be aware if you're looking for a pedal to get rid of a bunch of guitars this will get rid of no guitars you wouldn't want to record in the studio with this because of the fact that it doesn't mimic the guitars enough where this would uh, help you a lot is if you were doing a lot of songs or a lot of styles of music and a lot of different guitars not only does it capture it which means you'll generally have an, a, an idea of where your, your guitar sounds are coming from, you'll be able to tweak it with the EQ pedal. And to be honest with you, without even capturing, I was able to just get most of the sounds just by adjusting the EQ pedal. As an EQ pedal, it's a really good pedal. In fact, one of the best EQ pedals I've seen on the market and having this extra stuff into it is kind of a cool feature. One of the drawbacks of the pedal is to go through your presets, you have to push the button, which means you'll have to bend over and do it in between songs, which isn't a deal breaker, but it would be a really nice if you could actually switch between these while you're in a song. That would be cool to go from, let's say, your one style of pickup to another for a solo. I hope I answered all the questions you might possibly have on this pedal. It was really interesting to check it out. I want to thank the more guys for sending it to me um, and I'll let them know that overall I was pretty impressed with the pedal, although those are the shortcomings I mentioned. Other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. And until next time, know your gear. I'm with Mize and he's going to tell you officially how to say more. And it's Chinese for magic ear. <laughs>